Speaking to a joint session of Congress this week, President Obama attempted to infuse confidence in America's economy. Well, I for one appreciate the president's positive, optimistic outlook, which is encouraging to Americans. And that was reflected, of course, in his approval rating, which shot up to 80 percent after his Tuesday night performance. As I was just coming of age politically, Ronald Reagan was the nation's number one cheerleader. That's my most vivid memory of him. But there was more to President Reagan's ability to spur economic growth than his sunny disposition. It required a foundation of pro-growth policies. As President Obama laid out his budget priorities and his economic plans, it became obvious that the foundation for growth was missing. A telltale sign is in the response of the financial markets. Since taking office, each time President Obama and his administration have addressed the economy, the markets have dropped. Why? The financial markets do not operate on feelings. While people may momentarily feel good about a likable, earnest new president and the promise of a federal program that may be created or expanding to meet a short-term but important need, the reality is that the financial markets shiver. The nation's economy shivers. Why? It's basic economics. The bigger government becomes, the smaller, less vibrant the private sector becomes, which in the end means less economic growth, fewer jobs, and a gradual but real decline in personal freedom. It really comes down to this question that you and I as American citizens must answer. Do we want to feel good in the midst of our nation's present economic downturn? Or would we prefer to endure hard policy decisions that will ultimately strengthen our nation's economy? I hope for our sakes and for the sake of our children that we make the right choice. For more, visit frc.org.